Okay, and welcome back to Too Many Pens. Again, I am your host, Ammon Jensen, and again, this is Too Many Pens. Okay, so today's video review, it's not an unboxing here, you can see the shadow here. Um, it's going to be on the Jin Hao 992. Yes, I know, two Jin Hao's in a row, but I just love Jin Hao. They're cheap, affordable pens, and how great they are. And I figure I'm gonna do one more. I got a lot of Gen House to review. Um, so I figure let's do that today. Let me Hey, and I figured, you know, why not? You know, exactly. So that is exactly why, if I can grab it, we're doing the Gen House 992 today. <laughs> Two Gen House in the room. Don't worry, I already posted on my Instagram if you go check that out. Um this is going to be an unexpected video posting on YouTube. But I have an upcoming pen review for the Esterbook J-Style. So go check that out on Instagram. Go like the post. A little teaser for upcoming video. This is, like I said, an unexpected video that uh, I'm going to be releasing. Um, don't mind my finger. I sliced it open. I know it's gross and nasty, the bandage. But I have a doctor. I They super glued my finger back together. I just said I cannot take off this dairy strips until they fall off by itself. So then he says it's going to get nasty. So please ignore my nasty finger here. Um, I'll try to cover it as much as possible. But again, this is the Jin Hao 992 pen. Okay, so I ordered this pen on eBay, I believe, for a total of 2 $3 probably. Uh, this one I actually have free shipping, so that's why I chose this one. There's one for like $0.75. Cents. But it has like $5 shipping. So, of course, I went with the $3 free shipping one. It took about three weeks to get here. Of course, from the uh, Chinese slowness. Actually, I think they've flown this one. Because this one got here relatively quick compared to some other pens. I don't have a batch of three Shen Hao pens. Um, we'll talk about those later. We're not going to spoil them. There may or may not be a video coming up. If I don't uh, expect a video, I'll let you guys know what the pen is later. Couple of themes today, Rodia Notebooks, regular standard A5 Rodia Notebook, and pen. This pen color, actually I don't know the exact pen color, I didn't get the description, I can look it up, I don't really want to, so here it is, and um, this is, yep, Rodia Notebook, and uh, 992 Jin Hao. Okay, let's just open up the pen real quick, let you take a quick look. And let me know how you guys, here is a zoom in. Let me know how you like the quality today of the microphone and the video. Um, I found I set up on my phone. That works better. So yeah, please let me know. Um, we will, if this is work, if this works well, we'll come back to it. I'm zooming in and out, trying to get the best viewing experience for you guys. Um, you can't really see the nib, but you know what a Jinhao nib looks like. Has the guy in the carriage, Jin Hao, and this is the fine nib. This is in this demonstrator. I'm going to say it's pink. Uh, zoom back out. I'm going to say this is pink. It may not be pink, but it is to me. Standard cigar shape. You guys saw that. We'll do a size comparison on two other pens later. Converter came with a proprietary Jin Hao converter. I love this. I already inked it up. We're not going to do that in video. Um, I'll tell you what ink I'm using here in a second. But until then, I'm going to cut the video, and we're going to talk about the, I'm going to cut specifications. I'll be back with the specifications. I am back with the dimensions. So again, this is Jin 992. On the eBay listing, this is, this is a red demonstrator. It looks like peach, but we'll call it red. Um, Price of this, $2.17 and free shipping. Cheaper than I thought. We'll write that down. Why not? $2.00. And 17 cents with free shipping. F brief measurements, whatever the eBay listing said. I could find the exact listings. I don't want to, so we're not going to. Length, 13.5 centimeters. Diameter, 12 millimeters. And material, standard injection molded plastic. Um, they actually did a very good job of hiding the injection molded sites. You did not even see them. And not be injection molded, but uh, whatever. Color of ink, Pelican Brilliant Bronze. Let me show you. Bottle. Y'all know the Pelican bottles. We'll do a full zoom in. 
So you get a clear image. Pelican, brilliant bronze. And yep, let me focus if I can see. Come on, there we go. You guys can see that brilliant bronze, 217, free shipping. Size comparison, Genel 992. Sailor Compass 1911. I chose this pen because they are basically identical. Um, Jinha may or may not have copied the Compass 992, 991. It might copy the um, standard 1911 Sailor, but they just look so similar. Size, everything is basically the same. So that's why I chose one of this pen to compare. With the translucent fee, it's green right now because I have Lamy green in there. Look for a review, review of this coming up soon. We'll do a full review of that. But that's our first size comparison with the Jena 992. And Jena pen we re reviewed last video. The Jena X159. This is a huge cigar shaped pen compared to the other girthy suit bigger in girth and length than the two 992s and the sailor 1911 but i figured i'd show you a nice big comparison oh i got a little spillage there i believe i put bad green in here newler's bad green i love green inks i don't have a huge collection like some other pen enthusiasts have so you're going to see me recycle a lot of my inks i do get new inks here and there but I don't get a new ink with every single pen purchase. So a lot of my pens will be recycled ink. And you'll see that a lot. So, yep. Again, 159. And Sailor Compass 1911. This pen is in the same range as this. This pen, this is like intermediate. This is like a high-end pen compared to this. I got this pen on sale actually on Goulet for $30. Comes with converter tube. That's why I really like it. Um, oop, I actually took out the wrong pen. We're not doing that. I really do review on the 159. Review of the 992. Ink got this on sale at a local brick and mortar art supply store for about $6. They had it for $12. And if it was full retail, I would not buy it because that is overpriced. Amazon, I could get this for about $7 bucks max. Okay, so... 992 quick writing sample and then i think that wraps up the video no unboxing nothing like that you guys already know no step down actually there is a rubber gasket here which is super nice transparent come with the converter it says gen how right here on the cap band this is a twist you can't really see it because of the lighting this is a twist off cap super good tension on the clip steel clip Really like these Gen Hao clips. The pen itself feels like a $40 pen. It feels this. Now, if you feel it too, you, they are just both super good pens. Now, looking at it, I really feel like this is based off of the 1911 Compass by Sailor. Um, they just feel so darn similar. And this feels like a $40 pen. You don't even realize it's a $2.17 pen. Rubber gas here comes with a converter, super good. I believe this is a Gen Hao fine nib. This comes with the standard with the most Gen Hao pens. Uh, it depends on which one, of course. We'll do a quick writing sample. Let's see here. We'll extend focus or stand the camera. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog just like that the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog one more time this is pelican brilliant bronze ink again this is the jenho 992 with a fine nib. A firm nib, but buttery 
some moves. Very good ink flow. Wetness, wetness test. Those are dry. Oh, a little wetness there. And wetness test. Pretty wet nib. A little quick writing. Big D's. Big squeals, big D's. Keeps up. So again, quick brown fox jumps over the laser dock. We all get that. Oh, excuse me, I stepped away from the mic for a sec. But um, yes, I think the Xinhao 992 is worth your two dollar and seventeen cents expense with the free shipping. Except you get, you might get a two to six week wait. This shipped within three weeks, and I got this within three weeks. That's super fast from coming from China, so I'm very impressed. Great customer service, kept in touch with me the whole time. Very wet nib, kept up no problem. The ink is very beautiful. You should definitely check out, again, Pelican 4001's Brilliant Bronze. It's more of a brown, but uh, bronze brown. Quick one, nib. It kept up, no problem. We'll just do a little up, 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 side, 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 up, 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 side, side, side. We have a little bit of skipping there on the upstrokes, and we'll do a little bit of down, down, down. No problem, downstroke. Line variation, medi no pressure, little pressure, full pressure. You're not gonna get any line variation extremely firm like i said right here a firm fine nib let me clarify that wherever i can fit this in here very here well where i didn't print fine didn't ask for it up very firm there you can't see it it's off screen but it's there very firm Okay, I think that does it for the Zhenhao 992. Again, costing you a total of two dollars and seventeen cents from China. You might be able to get this on Amazon for like ten bucks, and second day shipping. I don't know. I got it from eBay, two bucks. I'm willing to wait. Super smooth nib, very smooth right out the box, no problem, not scratchiness. Very little feedback. There is a little feedback here. You want to do a quick feedback test? Here we go. And it does post perfectly. It's not back weighted. And I actually prefer writing this pen posted. So that is a gen here. Oh, justice. So we have the nib facing up. I can't get that. I think just because of the cigar shape. But uh, Jinhao 992. Great pen. I suggest you buying it of your, like I said, $2 investment. So. Get a thumbs up from me. Go ahead, check out the Gen 992. Again, this was Too Many Pens, and I am Hammond Jensen. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the vintage Esterbrook J-Style pen review coming up later this week.